in contact since the Guys, well, I wasn't even live. I literally have been on here for five minutes and I wasn't live. I'm such an idiot. My bad. Holy crap. I'm sorry. <laughs> the countdown and everything going. Anyway, I feel like a right ass. So anyway, welcome to Dad Chunch Podcast, everybody. I'm sitting here talking the whole time. You know, I'm like, why is nobody saying anything? So anyway. <laughs> so dumb i'm so dumb and here we go just kidding we're not going to do that anyway before we get started i just want to let you guys know that um thank you for joining me subscribe and like this video just you know make sure everybody's on board uh the reason i'm doing this is because i saw the freaking this this press conference that we're about to see brian enton was at and it is such a gong show okay gong show so we're going to talk about what we think is going on i think it's just this this guy specifically i'm not sure entirely who he is <laughs> and i'm not sure entirely why he did what he did but let's watch that yeah sorry about that So it does look like the North Port police chief is also going to be here. They're walking up now. Lee County Sheriff. Okay. Look at this guy just balling in all five foot seven. Got his fresh haircut, got his fresh fade. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. First, step up to the mic. Right okay. Good morning, everybody. First, I'd like to say, uh, before I say one word, our thoughts and prayers are with Gabby and the families here. This is tragic, uh, but I will tell you. Yeah, this is today's conference. brings us all together. I couldn't be more proud of Chief Todd Garrison, Sarasota Sheriff Kurt Hoffman, the FBI, and all law enforcement agencies that are here today. This is my first time being here. Uh, we have deployed, Chief Garrison and I have been in constant contact since the beginning of the incident. We deployed assets immediately, resources. Unbelievable. Deputies, our Farrell system, to analyze a crime scene and save hours and hours of, of man hours. Our drones, the Dragonfish, Dragonfish has the capability of flying 67 miles an hour and 18.6 miles away from the operator. Who gives a shit about the drone? With the FLIR and all the capabilities of a helicopter. Today when I walked back there, I got to see firsthand the treacherous conditions that they were working on. We're talking about water levels up above almost the chest area. Rattlesnakes, moccasins, alligators. And these heroes go out there. I've never seen this. While we can't change the outcome, we can bring justice. And today, I'm very, very proud to say that Chief Garrison and our team of law enforcement, which is regional, it doesn't matter what color patch or uniform you wear, we work as one team and one family. Either this guy's really short, okay, or that guy behind him is eight feet tall. The law enforcement community came together, and I'm very proud to be a part of that. Chief Garrison, I'd like to say a few words. Well, thank you, Sheriff. Uh, it means a lot. Um, as we said yesterday, not one agency can handle all of this. And it's important that we rely on our partners. And uh, Sheriff Carmine Marcino and Sheriff Kurt Hoffman have been uh, huge, huge players in helping this uh, investigation throughout, also with the FBI. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you. You know, it's uh, challenging times. I know everybody wants to know exactly what's going on every second possible. Uh, all of America's watching, okay? But we'll never, never jeopardize an investigation to give that information out until the time is right. But again, I want to reiterate, this is a difficult business we're in the law enforcement. Things change by the second, by the minute. These are very, very difficult conditions. And you're searching in areas that you just can't walk up. And look, it's That's as like loud as it gets, everybody. Sorry. Or car. These areas are huge, and 
they're covered by water. So I couldn't be more proud of the team. Once again, I mean, Sheriff Hoffman from Sarasota, we're all one family. Sheriff's done a great job. Chief Garrison, and our FBI, second to none. They came, they came together from all over. We're talking about, you know, different states of communication here. And the end result is one team, one family working to bring closure. Again, our thoughts and prayers are with the family members. And um, it's tragic. Thank you. Chief, can you tell us how they searched for uh, for for five the weeks? Do would have cooperated sooner, that you would have found him sooner? Oh, that's a burning question. Thank you. Chief, is there any new information? Was there any point of the press conference? Oh, Brian getting pissed. Chief, did you find anything new today? Chief, can you give us any new information? They're just ignoring them. Just a pat on the old back, eh? And I got, I thought it was a little strange that the Lee County Sheriff came from a, from a neighboring county. Yeah. Because and there's another video I'll show you in a second here, but he's not even the sheriff for that county, everybody. He's Lee County Sheriff. Okay, which, um, let me see if I can find the other video for you guys real quick. Where was it? Oh, I think I lost it. It's so it's somewhere anyway. Let's see if we can find it here. Yeah, that was just a big, uh, big old uh, circle jerk, as far as I'm concerned. Um, he had never been down there. The guy gets his fresh fade with his dumbass haircut. He gets down there, says a whole lot of nothing. It's just wastes all these news article people are like hey we're gonna do a press conference we'll see you down there at this time and then he gets in front of the the microphone and he said nothing he's like oh thanks we loaned our drones here and those drones can fly and uh i'm so upset that they waste everybody's time that was insane and i get like the, the, the these officers have to do but I, something tells me that that guy is is if i'm not mistaken sheriffs are like are they are they voted in? Like they're political, right? Sheriffs are political. So he's just down there and to make sure everybody sees who he is. He's got all his badges on. He's got everything on. Just, it was icky. It was not cool. I didn't like it. I'm looking for the other, there's another video um, of him, of Brian. I'm not sure if it was Brian, but they were coming up to this guy and asking more questions and he wasn't answering any questions. Okay, there's a weird old lawyer interview here. Oh, let me see if I can find that here. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Let me find it for you here. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'll get that interview going in a second. Yeah. Look at this guy. Sorry. Okay. Listen to this. Uh, I'll be meeting with the chief, uh, speaking to him regularly. They've all done such a great job here. And once I got some information, I'll be able to talk to all of you. So my first time coming out. Is this your county? It is not, sir. Thank you. <laughs> is this your county? No. So why are you here? Badges? What's going on with your shiny new shirt? Why is he even here? So why you don't even go here, bro. Are you here? We are actively involved with them as we've been since day one, deploying resources, um, you know, all different drones and everything that we can do to help. It's one family, one team. Uh, Chief Garrison has done a great job. Again, our federal, the FBI has done a great job, and together we're going to make sure we do everything we can. So thank you. I'll be back. That's unbelievable. What did th what did this have to do with anything? I'm so pissed. Like, it had nothing. This guy just came out here for for a pat on the back for something. I don't know. I guess they're seeing that a lot of people are upset with the police. I know that for sure. They don't want. They don't. They didn't want to answer questions because I feel like someone would have drilled about their lackluster surveillance. I agree with that. And then De Brian's like, "You don't even go here, dude. <laughs> what are you even here for? What was all that for? We wasted our time." I hope he gets. I hope this guy gets voted out of office. Hold on, I'm gonna get put slow mode on. Give me a second, everybody. So they got skeletal remains. That's what they're saying.
Yes, I see that. I mean, we assume that's probably what it was going to be anyway, right? Give me a second here. So the video of the lawyer, let me bring that up. Elias sent that to me. Better be good, Elia. Better be good. Let's see here. Okay, inbox. How long is it? Let me take a look. It's 10 minutes. And I'll probably get struck because is it CNN? Okay. Well, let's look at it. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Deal with the timing here. Why today? Why did the parents choose? Let's choose that. Get the headphones going. Laundry family attorney responds to FBI findings. Let's take a look. Let's see it. If I uh, disappear, it's because I got struck. Today to go to the preserve. Well, it is my understanding that the preserve was only open to the public as of yesterday. So my clients reached out to me and informed me that they wanted to go into to the preserve this morning, and I thought it would be wise to notify law enforcement of their intentions. I did so by text to my contact in the Northport Police Department, and they responded with, uh, thank you for the heads up, and then they met my clients there this morning. Why did they meet your clients there? Well, I presume they thought it would be a good idea just to accompany them in. Oh, uh, they yeah, knew I'm the sure. press had been following my clients for weeks and weeks on end, and You'd have to ask them why they chose to come. They did not indicate to me last night that they would be there. They just, uh, again, thanked me for the heads up. One quick question sideways, and then uh, I want you to take me through what you understand of how the discovery was made. Why didn't the parents ask to go sooner during all these agonizing weeks? Mm -hmm. Well, the parents had assumed that the experts, the FBI, and all the tracking teams that they had would be able to locate Brian based upon the information that we had provided them uh, to the specific areas and trails in the park that Brian liked to visit. The park had been closed to the public. There was really no other reason for the laundries to go search anywhere else. Now, let's deal with the specifics of today. Is the area that they were searching when these uh, discoveries were made, is this a new area that the parents hadn't informed authorities about before? No, not at all. Indeed, this is the very area of the park that we initially informed uh, law enforcement on, I believe it was September 17th, that Brian uh, would be most likely in the preserve in this particular area. As, as I know it, near the bridge. I think it's the bridge that might connect uh, the Mayakahatchee Environmental Park with the Carlton Reserve. Was this a very deep way or distance into the preserve? No, Mr. Laundry informed me that it was it was quite near the entrance. Uh, he didn't put in a... It was near the entrance. <clears throat> Good gracious. And I'm going to show you guys a video soon about them on camera picking up the bag. There's so much going on here, everybody. So much. If the police met them there, like he the Bertolino was saying, Okay, police aren't just going to let them go off by themselves. And they're going to, and if so, they're going to say, if you find anything, blow this whistle or something. Okay. And then when I show you the video after this video, you guys are going to be like, uh, what? Yeah. Exact distance on it. He put a time frame of about 30 minutes in. Um, but uh, I, I would guess it could be a mile or two into the preserve. So, do you think it's odd they mentioned Gabby's family at the beginning of the press conference without confirmation? Yeah, I just think that they did that because they were their virtue signaling. Can you help us understand how an area that the authorities were told about, uh, you say, by the parents that isn't even that deep into the preserve wasn't located all these weeks with all the dogs and the teams and everything Good else question. until the parents showed up? Well, listen, the explanation that the FBI gave today certainly makes sense. If that area was underwater, one can certainly understand why you might not have been able to find the items that were located today. Um, if that water had cleared, you know, 
No way. Two weeks ago, perhaps could have circled back. Sorry. The items that were found, I think if you watch his parents, was a was a wet bag. Were, did they have bricks in them? All that stuff floats. All of it floats. Okay? All of it. Even bodies float, everybody. So they didn't look there at all. And I'm pretty sure when you do a search, I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, people might know better, but you, you basically write down where you searched so you can scratch it off the old list, right? If they did look there and they didn't find them, how, how many more things have they looked for and never found because of this? I can look again. Uh, perhaps they meant to. Perhaps they were further deeper into the park and never got back to this park because it is so near the entrance. Chris and Roberta went to this area first. And as happenstance was, they stumbled upon these items. As hap- right now, as, ha- understand. as happenstance. Yeah, that's such a great word from a lawyer. As happenstance has it, just out of the blue, cops have been looking for months and months, or a month and a half. All of a sudden, Brian's parents, hey, here it is. I found it. It's like when you steal something from your sibling. And you're before they, you know, they're looking for it. Oh, here it is. I found it. You know, you know exactly where they knew exactly where to look. They knew exactly where to look. And when we look at that video, you guys are going to be pissed. What do you know from your clients about how the discovery was made? What was going on? You know, what did they tell you about how it happened? So fortunately, uh, one of your um, rival news people were there with a camera. And I say fortunately because... You know, some people don't believe how the events laid out today. Um, but Chris Bertolino, can you blame people? Can you blame them for not believing? Chris and Roberta walked into the preserve. It is my understanding that they were followed closely by the two law enforcement personnel. Well, we'll look at the footage ourselves. And when I say closely, certainly with an eye shot. Oh. And as. Okay, I can see like 400 meters away from me, so that doesn't really help. They went further in. Chris ventured off the trail into the woods. He was zigzagging in different areas. What was he? Law enforcement was doing the same thing. And Roberta Laundry was walking down the trail. And I believe that is on some video for some other news outlet. At some point, Chris locates what's called a dry bag. The dry bag is a white bag laying in the woods, I'll say 20 feet or so off the trail. According to Chris, it was in some some bramble so why did they touch it why did they touch evidence that's evidence not allowed to touch that stuff and why would the police not tell them if you find anything don't touch anything also when we see the video it doesn't look i mean how do you find a a needle in a haystack like that's i'm sorry it's that coincidence is way beyond anything happenstance okay he knew exactly where to look for that bag he knew exactly where to find it Chris didn't want to pick the bag up because he wanted the law enforcement to see it. And then this was caught on camera. Chris couldn't find the law enforcement because they were then out of sight. Cause Chris. Had- oh, but you just told us Bordolino that they were in eyesight. So no, the cops did not have sight of them. And that is a no, no. When you are looking for evidence, when you likely know that the parents know what's up, he just said that they were in eyesight. Now they're not in eyesight. And so he picks up the evidence. Why not call, give a phone call, Hey, police, I'm sure you'll wait. You wait or you go out to a path and you wait. This is crazy. I've been in the woods. So he didn't want to leave the bag there with the news reporter standing nearby. So he picked it up. Oh, I'm sure. He did meet up shortly with law enforcement. They looked at the contents of the bag. Yeah. At that time, law enforcement officers showed him a picture on the phone of a backpack that law enforcement had located also nearby and also some distance off the trail. At that point, the laundries were notified. Mm -mm. It was also. If this is the, if this is true, what he's saying, his dad could have reached in that bag and taken anything out of it, anything, notes, books, anything. It's a dry bag, meaning it's waterproof. Taken anything out of that bag. The police have yet, Failed again. And that's why the freaking guy comes up on the mics this morning and says, we're really good. We have drones and shit. That is what's going on. They allowed him to go grab evidence out of the woods and possibly mess with it. And they have no proof otherwise. Uh, Remains near the backpack. 
and they were asked to leave the preserve. They were asked to leave. What do you make of the suggestion that Mr. Laundry planted the bag and the backpack? In nice terms, it's hogwash. Um, would the authorities have known what they walked onto the trail with? Absolutely. They oh, yeah. Just like you just said now, Berlino, that they could see them, that they were with an eyesight. And then two seconds later said they were out of eyesight. I don't believe anything this guy says. He's their lawyer. He has to do this. Okay. I don't believe anything. They could have easily brought that bag in in the other bag. They didn't. The police didn't check them. The police aren't checking their stuff. They need a warrant to check their stuff. He's a liar. He's straight up lying. They met them at the gate or somewhere nearby. They walked in with them. And more importantly, Chris, this is what I said. Fortunately for the laundries, the press was following them in the whole time. Yeah, but they went into the woods. The press didn't follow them in there. You just said it. And we're going to watch the video. Why wouldn't the dogs have found these remains? Mm -hmm. You would have to ask, ask the ex experts on that. that. That's not my expertise. If it was underwater, maybe the dogs couldn't, you know, detect. Mm -hmm. Cadaver dogs can detect underwater easily. The remains uh, underwater. Maybe the dogs were never brought back, back to that area. Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask someone else that question. What were your clients' uh, reaction to what happened while they were there? You know, that also was caught on video. And, you know, it, it's quite sad. You can imagine as a parent finding uh, your son's belongings alongside some of the remains and that's got to be heartbreaking and i can tell you that they are heartbroken do they believe it is their son chris it's not about belief i mean as you said at, at the onset the probability is strong that it is brian's yeah. remains yep but we're going to wait until the forensic uh, results come in and, and verify that now obviously the family's under a veil of suspicion because of their lack of cooperation from the beginning um, mm -hmm. optically in terms of contacting the petitos, et cetera, and dealing with authorities. Um, the police gave the impression that the family delayed notifying them about Brian Laundrie's disappearance. Well, you said that they gave the impression. They, they've come out right and said it, and certain members of the uh, Northport Police Department have said it more than once. And as I've discussed Said with what? you once before, let the record be clear. The laundry reported Brian did not come home the night he went out for the hike. I actually reported that to the FBI personally. On Friday the 17th, the FBI called me. We didn't call them. They called me and said we have a tip that Brian was seen in Tampa and we want to see if he's in the house. After some back and forth, we agreed on it. This is important, guys. Remember that he just said that. That the night Brian didn't come back, they pronounced him missing. So they knew he was going to do something. Right? They knew he was going to go do something. That changes, that changes our timeline. Time at 6.15, Friday the 17th, the FBI was going to come to the house. During that conversation with the ring on the time, I said to them, if you got a tip, where did this come from? Mm -hmm. Because a member of the Northport PD gave a press conference the night before and said, we know where Brian is. He was asked again, do you know where Brian is? He said, we know exactly where Brian is. I immediately called my clients and said, hey, was Brian picked up? Do you know where he is? Because I don't know where he is. How do they know where he is if we don't? And that was on Thursday. On Friday, when the FBI came to the laundry residence, we then said, yes, we will fill out a missing person report. And that got twisted as though the family waited until Friday to report him missing. No. Which is not how it happened. Okay. So it's unfair, it it's unfair in the micro, but it's understandable in the macro because – it just doesn't look right that the parents haven't wanted to cooperate, that Brian didn't want to cooperate, that mm -hmm. they wouldn't want to talk to the other family. So you can understand why people would be suspicious about their actions. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, now is not the right time to talk about, you know, the situation with Gabby, but the family was following my directions. I, I told them not to talk to anybody. 
not to say a word. I was the the uh, intermediary between the family and law enforcement, and that's why we're confident that you know law enforcement, specifically the FBI, was informed. Ryan did not come home that night. Whatever played out in those three days after that, that that's on the police and the FBI. That's not on the family, as I heard. Okay. All right. So, okay, that changes the timeline. If that's true, okay, and we, I don't know why we have no reason to believe it's not true. I mean, unless we just, a lawyer is lying, which I guess it's not the first time that's ever happened. But look at this. I hope there's, if you guys have more links to the footage of them coming out of the woods, uh, let me see it, please. Uh, e email it to me or uh, send it to my Instagram or my Twitter. But look at this. This is when they came out of the woods, everybody. They got the bag. What are they saying? And they went back into the woods. Watch this. Could have easily, could have easily taken anything from there. Easily. It does, it's not really adding up as far as I'm aware. Um, here's the here's the thing. Here's the here's the issue. They're both holding the bag. He went into the woods to get the bag. He knew exactly where the bag was. There's just sorry, unless he's got like like what luck? You know what I'm saying? What crazy luck that this dad found it. What about before they got a lawyer and Gab's family's trying to contact him? Yeah, I know. Well, they were not they're not gonna answer that question at all. Again, why they exact why are they touching evidence, first of all. If they're going in there. The lawyer says, hey, FBI, they want to go in. The FBI says, okay, well, we'll go there. When they meet them there, they say, hey, if you find anything, don't touch anything. They literally picked up evidence and walked away with it. Okay, they, <laughs> this is insane to me. He walks into the woods, finds the dry bag, first of all, which that means that both parents tampered with the evidence. We don't know what he took out of that bag and put in that little, in the mom's red backpack. We don't know if they did, if they didn't, if they found something, they threw something, whatever. It's a dry bag. Of course they took the evidence. Margaret, they had the evidence in their hand. They took it. They had it. You're not allowed to touch evidence in a case. This guy's a missing person. They're touching evidence. And we don't know if they took something out of the bag. We don't know what they did. They were in the woods. They came out of the woods, and that's when the camera started seeing them. This thing is staged. This is crazy, guys. Uh, this tampering right in front of the media. No one's, and the cop doesn't say anything. Oh, yeah, well, they found a bag. And then they brought it to the police because they didn't want the, the, they didn't want the friggin', um, camera guy to come grab the bag that's what the lawyer said he's like well they didn't want the media to come get the bag you think the media is gonna go pick that bag up you think the media is gonna do that the media is gonna sit there and wait all they had to do was say hey i found something we're not touching it you got to be kidding me right now they let them walk into the oh yeah they, they allowed them to walk into the area with either their own backpack on too she shouldn't have been able to carry back well i mean the, they didn't check at minimum they're not checking because they need a warrant to check people's bags we don't know if they took something out of the bag, put it in, took it out. We don't know any of that stuff. None of it. The FBI didn't take the bag from them. Are we sure about that? A lot of people are saying, well, did they plant the bag? I mean, it wouldn't be out of the, outside of the realm of possibility at this point that they went in the woods and had the bag with them. It's a dry bag. It could have been squished and brought out. Or they could have had a friend go drop it off. Or... When they went and picked up the Mustang, they could have went and dropped it off. There's three opportunities right there. Here it is, guys. Yeah, they don't have to show what's in their bags. Guys, it might not have been planted, but here it is. Regardless of how the bag got there, there is literally no way his dad finds out without knowing where it is. They searched. And all of a sudden, he goes right to where the bag is? How do people not like? I know. I know we're all seeing through that. I know we are. But how is the 
law enforcement not seeing through that stuff? What's going on? Exactly. Gone with the Gale says they could have taken the, the device Brian used to unalive himself and walk away with it. Could have been a, a gun. Could have put that in their pocket. Could have thrown it in the woods. Could have buried it. Whatever. Okay. They could have taken something out of that bag is what I'm saying. They could have taken something out pertinent to this case. A diary, a letter, anything. Why though? And again, it's too much of a coincidence that he literally went and just, oh, here's the bag. You guys look here. Well, you must not have looked hard enough because here it is. Unbelievable that this isn't getting more heat on the internet right now. Unbelievable. The fact that they found the bag says everything. They knew it was there. Tell me another case where the parents of a murder suspect find evidence. Yeah, I've never heard of this before. The not being able to search because it was underwater part doesn't even make sense. If they had divers, they had divers and they had machines that did all that stuff. They had cadaver dogs and everything. I don't think they searched that area. And if they did, whoops. And if it's a dry bag, it's floating. If it's a backpack, it's floating. There's likely stuff floating. Nothing just sinks. Maybe it does. I don't know. The FBI is setting the parents up. They planted the bag. No, that's not. My kid's dad just had a gun pointed at his face this morning in front of my kids, and the dude didn't even get arrested. What? The heck? Where do you live? Don't be in places where that can happen. If he did unalive himself, where's the note? Did the parents take it? I don't know. He, he might not have left a note at all, right? Might not have done anything. Oh, the deal with the delivery box. If you guys want to see what's going on in the delivery box, let me see here. Here it is. Oh, Oh, look at this. There's the dry bag, okay? Look at this thing. It's not even that big. The contents could have fit inside of his bag probably quite easily. And look at that. That's not... Mm, it's not the same. Look at the bottom here. It doesn't have that same pattern here, the bottom of this bag, unless that's the chair. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. The, the, I, the, what matters is that this is a dry bag that stays dry, <laughs> okay? And they could have taken something out of that easily. What a garbage press conference. A dry bag is a camping bag that has it it rolls so it's plastic it's waterproof and it rolls and then these two handles come around and click it i'll show you a picture of a dry bag Anyway, I can't. Find, anyway, I'm not showing a picture. It's basically a, dry, a bag that is waterproof and it rolls up so it keeps waterproof and then clips together so it stays waterproof. Anyway, it's just it's 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 waterproof. Um, there's no conspiracy here. I just feel like that's just they knew. It's not a conspiracy. They knew. They knew where he was. Why wasn't an officer with the laundries when they searched? Exactly. Why wasn't an officer on their ass at all times? And then Bertolino lied. Okay, don't let's not forget this lawyer just lied to us. Okay, he said, yeah, they were an they were an eye shot. He said visual eye shot of all time. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, and then they weren't an eye shot. So good thing the reporters were there because they were out of eye shot. So he was changing the story up every two seconds. Lexi, yes. Who took the video of them going to the woods? It was reporters. Yes, it was. Now, I believe Brian's parents had involvement. No, I don't think so, Wesley. I don't think that they had involvement in her murder. Um, I, I could see them possibly getting rid of evidence. Yeah, but I don't think they're involved. I can't see that happening. They were home, like the odds of that are astronomical. Like they were in another part of the country. What if these people are completely innocent? Really, you honestly believe that? 
You honestly believe that? You honestly believe they didn't know what they knew? And if that's the case, if they didn't know, why did they lawyer up? Why did they not say anything to anybody? How did they walk right to the effing bag? Sorry. Yeah, and it's interesting that the dry bag was open. Everybody, it's open. The cops were not near their parents when they found the bag. Again, so much could have happened in that moment, right? That they could have done anything. A dry bag needs to be rolled up and snapped closed. And why is it in that form exactly? Why was it open? Or maybe the cops know and are playing dumb for the media enough to tip any of the laundries off, possibly. Do I think he's... No, that's him there. He's done. That's him there. Now he's done, guys. See, that's him. That's his remains in the park. These parents should be hired if they're better than millions. <laughs> Seriously, right? Millions of dollars with equipment, 10, 20, 30 million dollars worth of searching and uh, volunteers galore and police. All of a sudden, his dad's like, doo, 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 doo. Oh, here it is, everybody. Did you look here? Guys, this is mind blowing. And the, at the end of this, whatever happens after this case, this is going to be that moment in that case where he's like, Really? That's going to be it. After the FBI spent millions on the search, Roberta and Chris take a little stroll and boom, there's evidence funny right right unbelievable yeah just dad drums right if that's not him it's gonna be cray cray which is slang for crazy it's gonna be insane if that's not him it comes back the dna is not him and they're all doing the press conference they're all saying that stuff because it basically they think it is right so see i should go buy a lottery ticket buy me one too while you're at it give me that powerball they didn't look distraught, right? There's, I get, there's other videos of his parents, guys. If you see me, I'm, I'm looking for other things. <laughs> this tweet's hilarious. FBI, we exhausted all our resources. Dad, hold my beer. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? Right? Unbelievable. Kind of reminds me when Chris Watts goes to the house, he went to the garage and shut it, and had that 40 or so seconds before he went to the front door. Right. Every moment counts. Every movement counts in these cases. Now, if you don't think that's a big deal that they went into the woods and were unseen for a little bit and then came out with a bag that was undone. That's a big deal. That is a big deal. Gabby's phone could have been in the dry bag. Yep. That's a good point. Yes. I'm sure there'll be a lawsuit against them. Someone has to pay for the search. All this will come out. Yes. But remember what they said. And the lawyer was right. They told police where he was and they didn't find him. And then they went back and, and maybe this isn't, this isn't about maybe them planting this or whatever the case may be, what people are thinking isn't about them hiding evidence. Maybe it's about them trying to mitigate the disaster of paying the $30 million fine for the search. And they're like, no, he was where we told you he was. See? And then they don't have to pay that. They don't have to pay it. Because they said we told you where he was. You didn't find him. That's on you. That could have been this, that could have been this this reason. They went out and said, see, he is where we told you he was. We are not on the hook for the $50 million search because you didn't listen to us. That's what it is. Yes, she was. She was, I think she was a I don't know, administrator for a DA or something like that. I doubt the, I mean, you want to, you'd want to see people be held accountable, but I doubt it. What do I think they took out of the bag? If anything, her phone, a diary, a letter, I don't know, anything, anything that could have, can, can, because again, if there is a letter of confession, okay, everybody, if there's a confession, then he can be tried posthumously, right? And then his parents likely could be on the hook for some of that stuff. They don't want that. They don't want their son to be tried posthumously for murder. They just want this to all go away. They have, they have, you know, the drive to get rid of that. 
right? They do. If someone comes forward with evidence that they search that spot, gonna be gonna hit. The, it's gonna hit the fan for sure. Could have taken the cash out of there. Yeah, they could have taken money out of there. Could have been. They could have taken evidence out of something that they bought for him, like a burner phone. Right? We know that he had a phone. Maybe he had two. Maybe they took that out and said, get that phone in our pockets. Could you imagine? They get to the bag. They pull that phone out. They put it in their pocket. Not allowed to search them anyway. You need a warrant to search anybody. They're not allowed to search them. They could have put that right in their pocket and walked right away. I know I'm sleuthing right now, but that's plausible. Okay? The fact that they grabbed the bag, it makes it plausible. Yeah, why did she have a backpack when they went and searched? Why did she need a giant ass backpack? What are they doing? You know? Dog did not search that area. I don't. So the dry bag and notebook was found. Apparently a notebook was found. I think it was in the other bag though. But hear me out guys. This is actually, think about what we're not really talking about. Brian had a dry bag. He was prepared to go and run. You don't have a dry bag for nothing, right? You hang that in trees, keep it out of the bears and alligators and all stuff. He was ready to go. His parents knew that he had the bag. Who just takes a dry bag on a normal hike that he said he was going on? He was prepared to run. That's the issue here. We don't know if they took something from the backpack uh, person that I can't say your name. Um, we don't know. I'm just saying it's plausible. We talked with my BF about this and decided if it happened to our daughter, we would go to we would go to case. But if the son would goes to jail, I don't know. I don't know. I know. How are they allowed to just walk around with the evidence that everybody's been looking for for over a month? Laurel says, as a wildlife park, right? Why can't police search people that are warrant? Can't search people that are warrant, man. People have rights. As far as I know, you can't just go search people unless you have like probable cause that they were doing something like trafficking or all that. I don't know. They probably didn't. I don't know. But even imagine they did pull out a phone from this bag. I think the most likely scenario is they pulled out a phone, a device. They could have thrown that 150 yards away. Or buried it, kicked it under a tree or something. Put it in a pond somewhere. Did the lawyer say they found bones in the bag? I don't think they found bones in the bag, did they? Why would they have, why would bones be in the bag? Working around a day doesn't necessarily mean she's competent in crimes. No, it's true, but I mean it's more plausible that you do than you don't. I don't think he'd, if Haley, if he did it now, if he did it, he wouldn't have done it now. He would have done it around the 19th. That's what we're, that's what we're thinking. Yeah. I mean, you can be searched before entering a venue, but a crime scene, again, do you think you, are you, are you, are you suggesting that these cops have, should have done their job properly? Well, yeah, <laughs> this whole time they might've, they should have done that, but they didn't. So what's just one more thing. I think this cop came out to say, you know, distract. I don't know. Something's going on. So I'm reaching, just the therapist writes. Bro, I think you're reaching. Didn't they call the family to confirm stuff was Brian's after police found the stuff? No, we just told you that, and the lawyer just told you, okay, that they found the bag, not the police. They found it. Yeah, sorry, guys. Hit the like button and subscribe, please. Appreciate it. Thank you. Would appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So Roz Wagler writes, what's happening? The parents went into the woods. They came right away and they found the bag that everybody, they found. Basically, they brought everybody to where Brian allegedly is, remains, okay? And they found the bag and the lawyer said, well, the only reason they brought the bag is because they didn't want the media touching it. And we don't know if they could have taken something out of that bag or whatever the case may be. Could have been, they could have done anything. And they were, and Bertolino gave us, said it right there he said they were out of the eye shot of the officers even though he said at the beginning of the interview that they were in the eye shot of the officers and then they weren't so he was misleading misinformation i don't know how you say that but it was really really coincidental that 
millions of dollars and all these equipment and officers were looking for this kid. All of a sudden, Chris is like, strolls out to the park with his cane and he's like, oh, there he is. Craziness. It's craziness. They could have put stuff in the bag. Yep, that's true. Brian Enton said the human remains are bones. Yes, I did get that. WFLA has been live the whole time. I don't think they're going to give us anything else. They can ask search. They can't force you to submit to a search. At venues, by entering, you agree to search. Yeah, that, that makes sense. It's not. This isn't a venue. The FBI dropped the ball on their surveillance of BL. It wasn't the FBI, though. At that point, FBI wasn't involved. That was Northport police that were surveilling. And now the parents, it looked like they skipped surveillance day at the academy. I, I feel like the FBI, if the FBI is trailing you, they're not going to lose you. This was Northport police who were supposed to be surveilling. Because this one, this case hadn't gone as viral as it did before when they were surveilling him, like they said. Right? And remember, they said he took off at the back. But we're missing the whole point that he got into a Mustang drove there and that's where we think he is right now so they weren't surveilling him at all they would have just followed the mustang it's crazy this is what we think page yes hey thumbs up if you think that that's what's going on right now thumbs up yes he unalived himself and he got eaten that's what i'm saying that's where i'm sitting right now thumbs up The timeline is affected, Haley, because let me just remember what I said, why I said, why I asked that, because he said that the parents told the FBI in the 14th, sorry, the 13th, the night Brian didn't come back, they said they told the police and the FBI. That changed, excuse me, that changes our timeline to say that they re they reported him missing on the on the Friday or the Monday, or the Monday, which means that they knew if he was gone that night and they reported that they didn't look or surveil. That's what changes the timeline of that. Meaning he could have gone on the 13th and done it at that moment, right? Because the, the mom and the dad went and got the Mustang. I'm not sure who picked up the Mustang on the 4th. They both had to go. The dad had to drive her to get the Mustang on the 14th, right? So there's something super fishy about that. He came back one more time to see his family before leaving the earth, possibly. Yeah, I think most people believe thumbs up is that he definitely unalived himself and got eaten by an alligator for sure. This doesn't count, family first. Now I'll do this. It's one or the other. It's like you're the person who doesn't put ketchup on your fries. You put it on the side. You don't commit. That's just, you got to commit. This is what we were talking about yesterday, Gia, that he might have might left his parents a note in the Mustang. She might have tossed it or whatever. Dry bags float, but that bag looks way too clean in an area previously covered in water. Mm, uh, I want to see it again. I don't see that. I think the bag looked pretty worn. Plus, uh, it looked pretty worn. I'm looking at it right now. It looked like it could have been there because, again, it's a waterproof bag. It's uh it's a waterproof bag, meaning like nothing sticks to it. It's not like a it doesn't soak up anything, it's just like a clear plastic thing, so nothing's really gonna stick to it. The bag does have a hole. I see that, Tom. Bags with holes don't float. It's a good point. You're a bag with a hole. Come at me. I'm looking for a picture of the bag now, just to double check. Oh, geez, what's going on here? 
Okay, so here's let me just show you what's going on in the house. I want you to get your guys' take on what's going on over at the house with these with these protesters. Tell me what you honestly think of this, okay? Yeah, sorry guys. Make sure you like this because it's getting out there, okay? All right, we're gonna go video file. No, cancel. That's stupid. Share screen. What they're doing is playing Gabby's voice out of the speakers so that the family can hear it. I want to get you guys' take on this. Now we're going to get to hear Gabby. Gabby's in trouble. Talk it to, talk it to the police in Utah. Chris, I'll say Chris myself. I'm just going to shave through the phone. Um, I'll give you some shit. Is that good? Alright, just hang tight for me. How are the police to know that something tragic was going to happen? Are you listening? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, this is stupid. I'm not even going to give her a chance. I don't know who that is. Some girl named Molly or something. That's I don't I don't I don't believe it. We say the word unalives because we can't say the other word, guys. If it was just bones found, would that mean the body was there a lot longer than a month? I think bones might have been found because they might have been um, eaten, probably. <clears throat> I mean, I'm on the fence about it. I understand that a couple of the people are using this to boost their platforms. And again, it's from the beginning, I've said that. Go ahead. But I feel like these people are taking it a step far. Does that make sense? Without the like, I mean, if they're doing it on behalf of Gabby and Gabby's parents asked them to do that, then I would have no problem with that. But I highly doubt that Gabby's parents have asked her to do that. So what is her stake in this? Right? Is she what's going on with that? If you guys know anything about her, so yeah, Tia, but I don't care that they lost their son. I mean, he deserved to <laughs> again. I'm just saying that's a taxpayer burden that nobody has to deal with anymore. But I hope that there's a letter or something, right? So that there is some closure for Gabby's parents. I, that's why I hope so. I hope they didn't take it out of the bag. I hope there was something, you know. I can't I cannot believe they went and grabbed the damn bag. Okay, so she's this this lady's trying. Okay, and I get it. Now I understand that. And you know, my we have YouTube channels because we we grow. That's what I get. But I, I I don't think what she's doing is, I don't think it's helpful. Like again, like the DIY with Dean guy, like saying crazy, disgusting, nasty things about Gabby. That doesn't help at all. Not at all. This is what I said earlier, Dorothy. They grabbed the bag, probably looking for a note that may impl implicate them or implicate him, right? Because, again, if they have a note that he's uh, confessing to the whole thing, he's going to be tried posthumously. And, you know, that's – they want their son to just – they would – again, if you're a parent that's already gone this far in protecting your son, right, what are you going to do at that point? You're going to do everything in your power to protect his name, right? If he's not convicted – they don't get in trouble, then their son can rest in peace or whatever, right? That's probably what they're trying to think. But everybody knows what went down. Not gonna have it, not gonna be able to have like a tombstone and stuff for this kind of guy. Yeah, I think I don't know if tampering evidence with the charge. I didn't say that the thing this morning. Oh, sorry, Amy, I missed your super chat. My bad. Where is it? Where'd it go? 
just re redo your redo your don't do a super chat amy just tell me what, what it was i missed what i mean for justice just so that there's it's on record that he did what he did i mean this is this is called closure for sure Is there any more footage of the thing finding the bag? I don't. I, if you guys have any more footage, I'm happy to play it on here. If you guys can send it to me, I would like that. Absolutely. If they it can get fined for touching evidence, no one said anything. I feel like they shouldn't have touched the evidence at all. He can't be tried posthumously. Are you sure, Emily? Are you sure? Yesterday we talked about that, that he could be. Are you sure about that? If there's if there's evidence of it, like if he has a letter that says, I did it, can he not be tried posthumously? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're right. Yeah, picking up evidence, no gloves, nothing. Like you just you just messed up all the evidence. That's crazy, man. I, again, I don't think they took the evidence there. And if they, it, it, I don't think it was them. If anything, it could have been a friend or somebody else who did it on any time because these people have been watched 24-7 by protesters and media. There's no way they had an opportunity to go out there and do that. But likely, if you guys think it's planted if that's what you want to go with it could have been by a friend or somebody else likely again robin banks is right they should not have been left unattended while they were all searching it's crazy to me that the parents show up and the cops are like okay hey, we'll be back here in half an hour for ham sandwiches are you serious it just doesn't, oh, it, the cops must just be like, what did we do? Who's getting fired? Somebody needs to be fired. They didn't take it there, but they definitely took it out. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. This is what I said, Rachel. All you had to do was scream. I found something. FBI is coming. They just have to come out and just say, you stand here with the bag wife. I had to make sure no one touches it. I'm going to get a police officer. That's all they had to do. There's so many answers here. Okay, I will. Hold on, shot. 100% that notebook they found is going to contain no confession. It will be full of bashing. Yeah, I might even have something that says, I, you know, she, I don't know. At this point, Brian could have wrote anything in that book and said, oh, she did it herself or whatever. You could say anything. Making a murder was the best Netflix documentary that's ever existed. Changed my mind. Yeah, people need to get out from in front of the parents' house. I mean, are you, Margaret, are you sure? I feel like I don't think any of this happens. I mean, I get that there is inappropriate behavior, but people are there because they're passionate about justice. And this might have been the pushing, the, the, the tipping point. I don't think blaring music and trespassing all stuff is probably the smartest thing to do. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I'm on the fence on that one. Yeah, the police dropped the ball before this case even went hap even happened. So many things went down. We don't know if the per I doubt the parents were searched after the evidence. And even if they the police approached them and said, "Can we search you?" They could have just said no because they know they know they have the law on their side. Yeah, I saw this, the food kit thing yesterday. I'm trying to look for the photo of it. See if we can find it for you. Interesting picture. But it wouldn't have, I mean, it doesn't really make sense that it is anything because, I mean, it, I don't know what it would be, to be honest with you. So I don't know. I'm just looking for uh, the thing here. Sorry, dudes. Give me a second. I don't see it. 
But yeah, they were mailing something out. But who were they mailing it to? If if Brian unalived himself in the woods, it wasn't to him. Oh, sorry, Amy. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Where the heck? Just ask your question again, Amy. I'm going to wait. You ask a question right now. Right now. Before I go anywhere. I can't. I, I can't search by timestamps. Well, the protesters all have YouTube channels and are getting sent donations food. Really? Is that true? I really think Brian is still out there. The amount of mishandling this case, I don't trust that the parents didn't set this up to throw him off. I mean, that the, the coincidence of finding that bag, I'm sorry. That, that's that got me tinfoil hatting for sure. 100%. Partial remains? Yes, partial remains. That was the second time Brian's parents wanted to help the FBI search on his favorite trails. I think what was going in the media was being told are two different very things. Yeah, I think so. Amy, did you write your comment again? Did you write your question again? I'm waiting for your question, Amy. Leah, nothing's been confirmed yet. As far as uh, nothing. We just, they had a, they just had a freaking press conference that was like patting themselves in the back it was crazy and the guy is not even the sheriff of that county and brian's like why are you even here dude you don't even go here and he's like well we gave drones and we've been here since day one no that was so stupid The evidence is going to take longer to be examined now that Brian's dad has had his mitts all over. I mean, that's a that's an important question, too. If it's just partial bones, blah, 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 it's going to take them a long time just to get DNA from that. Am I right? It's not like they don't just get that instantly. Tinfoil hats, just conspiracy theories. Tomorrow can be the earliest the findings can come back. Other Amy, what was your question? Please, please. Yeah, you can do DNA off a of bone or bone marrow for sure. Dental records is a big one, is an, is an important one, yes. Both parents touch the bags too. Do you think he pulled the teeth out and cut a finger? Oh, man. Jeez. I, no. I, I can't imagine a human doing that to themselves, but. I don't know what that means. Okay, my, someone said they sent me something on Instagram. I'm going to look right now. That was gross. Guys, if you're just showing up here with the FBI or the police had a, at a press conference and we went... To look at it, and it was just the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. It was just patting them on the back. Okay. Someone sent me a screenshot of them going into the woods. I'll show it to you quick. I need to see this video. If anybody can find me the video, the full video of this, please let me know. Look here. This is his dad going into the woods to find... Can you look how dense this part of the woods is? Are you kidding me? He just went in there magically and found the bag. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. No, no, no. Human bones can be purchased online. That's weird. How do you know that? You're not coming to my house for Thanksgiving. In the bramble.
Fox has it on their Twitter. Spilled my juice. Man, I don't don't go to the dark web. They found skull fragments. No one tosses part of their skull into a swamp to throw the feds off. <laughs> wow. We need the 4K footage, right? How many people knew what 4K was before this? Sent to my IG. Under what name? Okay. Here we go. There's the cadaver dogs hanging out down the path too, down here. So they brought it over to the police officer. They're just going through it. What are they looking at? What are they looking at? Okay. She's still holding the bag. Is that a police officer? Why is she still holding the bag? And why are they going through the bag? I don't understand. Why are they going through his stuff? That's evidence. So that's where someone said that she wiped a tear off his face. That's where they said the police said they found something and told her about it. Why is she still holding the evidence? Tell him, guys. How you doing? How you doing? Just here with the murder case. He's a puppy. He's cute. All right. Well, that's a whole other. Again, that's really interesting to me because why are they still holding the bag? Why are they going through it? It's just crazy. Why can't I full screen this stuff? Wow. Yeah, seriously. Okay, you guys can't, like, I'm going to, I can't, the video you sent me is great, and it's, it is what I'm looking for, but it's so tiny that I, can, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, so hold on. Let me just screen record it right now here. That's fine, whatever. You guys can't see that. I know that. But that's his dad going in there to find that bag. The mom's just waiting out here by the trail. His dad's like, oh, here it is. Found it. There's no way you, there's no way you even go think about to look in there. That's not a favorite trail. That's nothing like that. What is that about? This is nuts, man. I can't believe people are not more up in arms about this. Okay. Sorry, guys. This is Neam. You, uh, I like your comments. A forensic scientist that irks me beyond be all belief that evidence is inadmissible in court and can't be used. So if that's true, that seems crazy to me. That's why it's such a that's why it's a crime to, to mishandle evidence. The parents touched it. They're the ones who brought it to the woods. 
So even if there's something in there that would incriminate him, they can't use it. Is that what you're telling me? Because that's frustrating. It's insane. How are the parents getting away with that? Sorry, Amy, did I miss another question from you? <laughs> Oh, could have been a bug on his face, not a tear. Yeah. I hope they don't. I hope they don't just get away with all this at all. Yeah, the dad just walks into the the woods. He's like, "Okay, look at the. I'm gonna go look in this super dense section of the woods. Just, I have a hunch. Unbelievable." This is it. We're all saying that, Cast Cap. They, they should have just said, look, I found something. Go get a police officer. I'm going to stand over this so the media doesn't get it. Because the lawyer said, well, they wanted to bring it out because they didn't want the media to touch it. That's what they said. Instead, they touched the evidence and made it inadmissible, basically. Why isn't it a bigger deal that the dad was just in the reserve looking for Brian, laughing and talking with the FBI guy? It is a big deal. And you know what? They were in that same spot, by the way. They were there, too. They were there. In that same spot. I hope they can be charged with tampering with evidence. But again... You guys have to remember, Brian's only a person of interest in the fraud or in the murder, and he's 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 a um, sorry, my goodness, I don't know, I lost the term. Anyway, he's he's a person of interest, so I don't know if that's if that's evidence towards that. It's just crazy to me. It's a missing person at this point, right? Yeah, they're all sitting there going through the bag together. What is going on here? Is there not protocols for this stuff? What are we missing? Maybe we don't know the protocols. Maybe it's like, it's his stuff. The parents are welcome to do what they want with it because it's his stuff because he's only a person of interest. He's not a suspect. Did the FBI name a murder suspect yesterday, Misty? Okay. Two bags found. Dad found the dry bag and the wet bag with, then a wet bag with notebook all found one mile from park entrance. Interesting that they were so far apart from where he went to check out in that in the really dense part of the woods that how far away they were from each other. Did the FBI confirm that? Yeah, I hope Gabby's family sues the pants off the county, the sheriff, the FBI, everything. I can't believe they were just allowed to touch evidence that could have led to information regarding her murder. Well, I mean, your DNA can be transferred if you're sweating, maybe, and you're in Florida in the in the misty Everglades. I don't know. Dad goes out to help police. What if he's just mapping out a place to dump evidence? Possibly. That's true. Yep, that could be it. person of interest not a suspect they're two different things legally speaking Oh, it's the same size video. Sitting there going through the woods. Insane. Insane to me. Interesting. How did the body not float? I'm not sure if it was already because it might have been eaten, possibly. A lot of people don't agree with you, Aries. That they don't think it is him. But, I mean, that would be quite the crazy coincidence if that's not him. That's a crazy coincidence and conundrum.
Why did the police open the reserve if areas previously underwater hadn't been revisited? Good point, especially if pointed out by the parents. That's a good question, actually. Very good question. Why would they, now that it's dry, go re go back and search where they were before? That makes a ton of sense. Why would they not? Incredible, incredible question. They were skeletal remains. Okay. And again, they found something, what, like nine bodies since they've been searching all over for this case? Could have just been another one. Never know. If it, Okay. If it turns out that the DNA doesn't match with him, do you think that the FBI and everybody's going to be like, it wasn't a match. They're just going to kind of go with it. Cause think about the, think about how many people messed up. I know I'm just from a tinfoil hat. Okay. Tinfoil hat on. Okay. Think about how many, how much the police have messed up in this case. Time and time and time and time again, they would have the ability right now to say, well, ah, it's him and not to prove it. And then case closed, walk away. We did our job. We're amazing. And we're going to do a press conference to say how amazing we are. That's my tinfoil hat. I don't think it's true. It's something we're thinking about. A lot of people's jobs are going to be on the line for this. So there's a lot at stake here. And in the end, if he did what he did, they just like he did what he did. And if it's not him, they, they ah, man, it's crazy. I'm just saying that's tinfoil hat sleuthing. But got to think of it. I, you got to just throw out everything. I don't, I don't want to think that. I want to think the best of the police, but stranger things have happened. Yeah, I like the video, guys, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I would appreciate it. No, I don't think it was near. The, I think it was about a few hundred feet or a thousand feet away from where the Mustang was parked. Yeah, that's interesting that they were at FedEx and AT&T twice this week. It's just weird. I don't think it, you know, that is why people think that maybe this is not him because why are they shipping off boxes and going at and and all that kind of stuff? So, you know. Interesting. It's a possibility that Brian saw a body, left his belongings to throw FBI, give himself a bigger head start. I mean, the guy has had a month and a half. He's not where he needs to be at this point. I mean, he's terrible. Yeah, it's true. We've watched Kylie. This I don't think we can understate this point enough, okay? Or overstate it enough. I've watched enough true crime to know to not put my faith in the police, right? Just watching Making a Murderer, watching any of these documentaries about where police go. There's a show on CBC. Um, I forget the name of it, but he, he does cold calls. Like he calls, he, he does the whole investigation from telephone calls. And the, there's this girl that went missing in near, I want to say it's in, in the East Coast. So some maybe in some northern town in Ontario. And he's going through this case and it's so clear that the police and the RSMP messed up completely. Just so clear. So you're right. This cannot be overstated. We know enough times they can't be relied upon, if at all. And we know in this case specifically, a few times, surveillance saying they know where he was, they didn't know where he was. The car, they say that they if the if if it, Bertolino was not lying, they said that they they pronounced him missing the 13th. Okay. Why aren't they looking from then? Then we we're talking about um searching that area and then not researching it after it's dried up okay allowing the parents to go and grab a bag and then sift through the bag like a how like a bag of halloween candy together it's just weird man they messed up yeah they were just digging through the bag in plain view i don't know where the bag went to be honest with you they kept it after they searched through it honestly like they're going through the kid's bag and taking the 30 percent dad tax for halloween candy And let's go back to the police thing for a second. The press conferences here were garbage, all of them. And then they just did another one and all the press are like, what was that? What was the point of that? You just pat yourself in the back. You say you loaned some drones. What is going on here? The police are flailing right now. And they're trying to, they got, you know, PR people saying, go do this, go do this, go do this. It is insane. Is this thing leaking? No, it's not. I don't have enough tinfoil here, but the slim chance it isn't Brian's remains, I give up all hopes on law enforcement. I agree. I agree. This comes up a lot, Bren. 
that his cousin is a cop. I'm not sure if it's been corroborated, but that would be a, huh? Yeah, that would be a huh moment for me if it was corroborated. 30%. What do you guys take from your kids? Take over 30%? Man, that's a lot of candy. You got 30% and I got four kids. I'm getting like, I'm getting, I'm getting returns on four kids, man. Even my teenage, well, the older one doesn't trick or treat anymore, but yeah, I mean, you gotta get, you get, you gotta get your, your, your due, your due. And I just take the Kit Kats, not going to lie. Why are there so many bodies in the area they found Brian's stuff? Because that is an area. I think any glades are just going to be where people put bodies. It's such a Florida, man. You're it's Florida. Yeah. They should never have been allowed there alone. Yeah, this is an important note here. Chicken Permission, which is a good name, writes, A cop literally believed Jeffrey Dahmer over this kid that escaped him and handed him back over. So, yeah. Okay. Brian's brother's a cop in New York. That's what they're saying. That's what somebody's saying here. Just saying. Yeah, this is important. Uh, Haley, uh, hey, Kamaler, hey, Kamaler. Why are they allowed to just call the FBI through their lawyer and say they're coming to search an area? Again, if this is Brian, they could have helped months ago and he still could have been alive. Uh, yeah, this is just such a weird thing. Like, okay, it's so it's so planned through lawyers. And again, it's that's why it's not a it's, I don't believe it's a coincidence at all. He knew exactly where to look. And they did it through the lawyers. So it's like legally documented. I don't know. Everybody, what's your favorite Halloween candy? We need a palate cleanser here for a second. Kit Kats, Mr. Big. Ooh, Mr. Big. Mm, I'm down. I give up. I'm this year. I'm giving out full candy bars, full ones. My place about to be lit. Kit Kat, Snickers, Snickers. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I don't know what that is. I wonder if the FBI will use Northport police as a scapegoat instead of Brian. Possibly. NYP was caught lacing drugs with fentanyl. <laughs> okay. Wow. Apples. Don't eat apples from Halloween, everybody. Throw those shits in the garbage. They're full of needles and poison. You should know that by now. Twix is a good one. I'll give you that, Shauna. You and I could be friends. Yeah, I'm doing full bars. You watch. It's going to be crying. I'm going to film it. Mars bars are delish. Hello, Brandy. Beautifully bargains. Reese's pumpkins. Never had those. Oh, Nestle Crunch. Yes. I think I'm going to do a live on Halloween and we're just going to eat candy. Okay, I said, what's your favorite one, Kylie? Not 14. We'll eat all those. This is how the candy goes in my house. Okay, the, the business you're going to pears. Okay, that's weird. Here's how it goes. Okay, it's Kit Kats, tick, uh, Twix, then like Snickers and things, peanuts in them, and then you go down to like uh, to what are those brown ones? They're the uh, oh my goodness, what are they called? Oh my goodness, I had some here. Yeah, it's Reese's Coffee Crisp. Then it goes to the chewy ones. The what are they called? Oh my gosh, my mind's going blank. Tootsie rolls. Tootsie rolls kind of next. Then you kind of get into the harder candy, you know, Skittles and things like that. And then the last thing that absolutely goes suckers. It's suckers. Nobody likes suckers. Rollo, man, I'm getting. I'm just because I haven't had sugar in a while, man. I'm just pining right now. I'm gonna tell my wife to get me a chocolate bar. Okay. 
All right. So everybody, that's been about an hour and thirty. That's it's it's a good it's a good one. I don't think there's anything going to be breaking from this point forward. We're going to keep an eye on everything. Obviously, I want to thank you guys for joining me and for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please head hit subscribe button, hit the like button, and um, really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching my video today. If you did, and if you haven't, go watch all the videos. Lots of stuff going on in this channel. Real crime hashtag it, and I will see you guys probably tomorrow. Absolutely, I'll see you tomorrow.